Hi, I'm Lisa Monteja, Director of the Vanderbilt Brain Institute at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. You will hear today from a number of our leading faculty, as well as a number of recent hires. We're excited about the trajectory of neuroscience and the community that we're building, encompassing faculty and graduate students in over 24 different departments with 110 faculty. I'm a biologist turned neuroscientist. I'm an associate professor with the departments of psychology and biological sciences and also with the Vanderbilt Brain Institute. My main interest is diversity in brain evolution, in brain composition. So my research is focused on elucidating the fundamental molecular and cellular principles that underlie neural circuit assembly in the mammalian brain. My research interest is in something called multisensory processing. So basically, how do we combine information from the different senses in order to form our perceptual view of the world? My lab is interested in understanding uh, the molecular mechanisms by which mitochondrial morphology and function regulate neurogenesis. Um, our lab focuses on understanding neurobiological mechanisms underlying central stress responses and how those mechanisms might yield insights into the pathophysiology of stress-related psychiatric disorders such as uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, major depression, uh, and others. I've been very fortunate. I tell people that really the success of my lab has basically been on the backs of the students that have been in my lab. Fabulous engines for the research endeavor and it's ended up with a fantastic set of collaborations. I'm Casey Dunham. I'm a third year in the neuroscience graduate program, and I work in the Wynorowski and Cassio labs. We primarily study sensory processing and in autism, including processing of audiovisual speech. I'm using EEG to study how infants who are at a greater likelihood for receiving an autism diagnosis may process audiovisual speech early in life. Uh, my name is Michelle Piazza. I'm a third year student in the Neuroscience Graduate Program at Vanderbilt University, and I am co-mentored by Drs. Lisa Monteja and Jeffrey Newell. I'm currently studying a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects mostly girls. It's similar to autism, and it's called Fret Syndrome. Hi, my name is Jane Burton, and I'm a fourth year in the Neuroscience Graduate Program here at Vanderbilt. I work in Dr. Ram Ramachandran's lab, and we study auditory neuroscience and the effects of noise-induced hearing loss on auditory perception and physiology. I was drawn to Vanderbilt's program because it was so interdisciplinary and I felt that having access to such a broad array of topics both in the classroom and in the laboratories would help to really get the most out of my graduate training. Our labs are spread all around the Vanderbilt campus um, and range from wet lab space to in-human clinical studies and this really fosters a sense of community and um, really develops a new perspective on a lot of our research. I have two mentors who have two primary different departments. Um, and with that, I'm able to gain a lot of expertise around this core interest of sensory processing and autism, but using multiple different methods to kind of get at that big question. One of the great things about the Neuroscience Graduate Program is the opportunity for leadership positions. Uh, over the last year, I was the retreat coordinator for the Vanderbilt Brain Institute annual retreat. I'm helping plan the annual Brain Blast, which is a community-wide event to get local Nashvilleian and their families to learn more about neuroscience and the brain. I work on our student organization to help prepare younger students for different stages of their graduate training. What I, I think I enjoy the most about the training process is sitting down with the students and helping them shape those ideas so that they really become things that the community of scientists is interested in and things that we know will be really impactful dissertation research. The professors really care about their students and it's really evident in the fact that they not only want to talk about science, which they of course do, but they're also interested in your life, they're interested in what you're interested in outside the lab, I and mean, I think it creates a very close-knit community that I really enjoy here at Vanderbilt. My main job is to make sure that they achieve their goals uh, professionally but also personally. And so we work very closely with them to help them realize what is it that they want to do next. And I try to give them the tools so that they are successful at those steps as well. The VBI is this umbrella community that brings together people with multiple interests that all converge on the nervous system and how brains work, what are they made of, how they function, how they develop, how they evolve. Um, and it's exactly the fact that we don't have uh, simple departments or a standard structure that I think contributes to make the, the VBI such a rich community. 
So I'd like to thank you for taking a virtual tour of the Vanderbilt Brain Institute. We are delighted of your interest. We're here to answer any questions or provide any additional information. We thank you and look forward to seeing you here on campus in the near future.